welcome learners to this session of ba subsidiary english part 2 class the topic is animal farm by george owell lecture 10 george will declared in his essay why i write about animal farm animal farm was the first book in which i tried with full consciousness of what i was doing to fuse political purpose and artistic purpose into one whole thus it affirms that animal farm is an historic satire of the russian revolution and soviet dictatorship many exact historical correspondences between the events of animal farm and soviet history up to 1943 are included in the novel as a political treatise animal farm promotes larger lessons about power tyranny and revolution in general in fact it addresses not merely the case of the ussr but that of all nations past present and future animal farm is a fable or a fairy tale as orwell termed it it carries a universal moral about the animality of human nature it recalls the famous english satire jonathan swift's gulliver's travels which is a combination of travel story and animal fable and a commentary on the human condition as well as an entertaining story now what do we find we find the allegorical correspondences of the animal farm and that of the historical events oblique personalities of the ussr and it may be read as follows now i'll be treating the characters in animal farm and the characters or the historical figures of russia because we'll be uh, uh, dealing with two two types of character that of animal farm and that of the historical figures about whom george orwell writes in this novel so first the characters of the animal farm and then the historical figures which they embody in the novel so the first is farmer jones he represents the tsar of russia that is the historical figure of russia the pigs represents the bolsheviks major represents a combination of marx and lenin napoleon represents stalin snowball represents trotsky boxer represents the working class molly represents the white russians moses represents the russian orthodox and roman catholic church squealer represents pravda the soviet propagandists napoleon's dogs they represent the secret police of russia Pilkington represents England Churchill Frederick represents Hitler after Frederick the great who was admired by Hitler Minimus the character in Animal Farm represents Mayakovsky Wimper represents western businessmen and journalists wild animals of the animal farm represents the peasants next we move over to the events the corresponding events in animal farm and the corresponding events in soviet history in animal farm the rebellion in soviet history the october revolution 1917 in animal farm battle of the cowshed in soviet history the civil war of 1918 and 19 snowball's leadership represents or is embodied in trotsky leads red army that is the historical event rebellions on nearby farms represents hungarian and german communist rebellions in russia revolt of the hens represents kronstadt rebellion 1921 Napoleon's dealings with Wimper represents Treaty of Rapallo 1922. Snowball's defeat represents 
Trotsky's Exile, 1927. Snowball and the Windmill represents Trotsky's emphasis on heavy industry. Napoleon's Opposition in Animal Farm represents Stalin's emphasis on agriculture. Snowball's decision to send pigeons to nearby farms. It is represented in Trotsky's Permanent Revolution. Napoleon's opposition, again in Animal Farm, represents Stalin's socialism in one country. Demolition of the windmill in Animal Farm represents failure of first five-year plan in the Soviet history. Starvation represents the Ukraine starvation in 1933 of Soviet history. Confession trials in the animal farm represent the purge trials from 1936 to 1938. Deals with Frederick, again in animal farm, represents the Nazi Soviet Pact of 1939. Battle with Frederick represents the German invasion in 1941. The end of the novel, it is represented in the Tehran Conference of 1942. I'm sorry, 1943. So it is to be continued in next session. Thank you.